Hairy headlines today and fighting for his political life, Boris Johnson will be questioned by MPs over whether he deliberately misled Parliament. Good morning. Are we about to feel prices and the rate at which they're rising, slowing down? In an hour's time, we get the latest inflation figures. It will be a while before we feel better in our pockets. I look at the impact on businesses and on households. Extra police patrols in Birmingham after a man is set alight outside a mosque. Counter-terror officers are investigating the attack. In sport this morning, record-breaking offers for one of the biggest clubs in the world. How rival bidders have until 9 o'clock tonight to make their second bids for Manchester United. And if accepted, will stand at a world record fee. For the very first time, London's West End has been lit up with 30,000 lights to mark the start of Ramadan. The lights were switched on by the Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, who is one of more than a million Muslims in London celebrating. Coventry Street, which links Leicester Square with Piccadilly, is illuminated, as you can see there. Looks it's rather beautiful, nice, doesn't it? Yeah. Absolutely beautiful, especially at dusk uh, last night. Now, counter-terror police have launched an investigation after a man in his 70s was set alight as he walked home from a mosque in Birmingham. Neighbours told the BBC they helped to put the flames out and carry the man to his home where he was treated by paramedics. Police have arrested another man on suspicion of attempted murder. They are investigating if there's a link with a similar attack in West London last month. Water bills will have to rise if the dumping of sewage into UK rivers and seas is going to be stopped. That's according to a House of Lords committee warning today. In a new report, the peers say that successive governments, the regulator of what and water companies are all to blame. And it says huge investment will be needed if we're going to improve things. Let's have a look at this morning's newspaper, shall we? We're going to start with The Guardian this morning. Many of the papers leading on Boris Johnson today as he prepares to face MPs. The Guardian says that it is a fight for his political survival. He's everywhere this morning again, isn't he? The eye also splashing on the former Prime Minister's upcoming appearance at 2 o'clock this afternoon before the Privileges Committee. Uh, the paper says a comeback for the former PM might be supported by some ministers if he survives the committee's report. So everything at stake for him today. That story is also front and centre on the Daily Mail, which is running the headline, Bullish Boris, up for the fight. And the Financial Times is reporting that plans to raise the state pension age to 68 have reportedly been delayed amid falling life expectancy. You get one hand and the other there, don't you, really? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Morning's papers this Wednesday, uh, many of them... Going on uh, the appearance later by Boris Johnson, the Metro mocking his claim that he did not deliberately lie to Parliament. Their headline, they weren't proper whoppers. The Mirror has a list of what it calls Boris Partygate excuses. The Star even more blunted its assessment, describing the former Prime Minister as Pinocchio. I think it's done that before, hasn't it? The Eye describes Mr Johnson as fighting to save his political career. The former Prime Minister's political survival, the main concern, too, for The Guardian. The Mail in is in his corner saying, Bullish Boris up for the fight. The Express, too, voices its support for Boris Johnson. Though it says, I acted in good faith. Now, in other news, the FT hears uh, plans which we were mentioning, weren't we, that uh, the raising the state pension age to 68 have been delayed partly because of falling life expectancy. The Telegraph also has a story about pensions, this time relating to Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer and how much tax he paid. The Times reports the results of a study which found that taking the pill increases the risk of breast cancer by 25%. Experts stress the uh, overall risk is still very low. And The Sun has this reflection from Ed Sheeran, who vows I'll never do drugs again after losing his best friend, Jamal Edwards. If you want to see any of those front pages again, or indeed read the stories, then do scan the QR code on your screen.